The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. Accompanied by Paul Heyman. From Minneapolis, Minnesota. Weighing in at 286 pounds. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar's walk to the ring alone is one of the most intimidating things in all of WWE. Yeah, and I can't help but wonder what must be going through his opposition's mind when Lesnar walks to the ring. And I can't wait to see these two square off in one-on-one -on -one action. And his opponent, from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's singles matches that make me thankful to be part of WWE. Dallas has been waiting for this one, Cole. The man who beat the streak is prepared to strike again and annihilate his opponent. Whether it's the F5 or the Kimura lock, the result will be the same. A crushing defeat at the hands of the Beast Incarnate. Oh, you're right. And there's nothing like a little WWE mano a mano to get that blood flowing. Come on, enough preliminaries. But no matter what we say outside the ring, it doesn't matter as much as what happens inside that ring. He's focusing on the face now. Guys, I want to discuss Steve Austin for a moment. Few men have been as successful in the ring as Steve Austin, which makes me think beating him here tonight will be a tall task. You know, everybody in this arena knows exactly what I know, that this is a great matchup, that either one of these superstars could win, and that's the best kind. Just toying with the competition a little. has gone on record saying he's not a superstar, he's not a role model, he's a destroyer. Brock Lesnar is the most focused predator this business has ever seen. When the Beast Incarnate sets his sights on an individual, bad things are on the horizon for that person. Very bad things. Oh, you're right about that, Michael. When it comes to Brock Lesnar, I don't know if the WWE has ever had a more brutal destroyer. I mean, let's face it, Brock's one of the few individuals that doesn't have to say much on the microphone. You can look into his eyes or see how he massacres people in the ring to get an idea of just what I'm talking about. He's starting to stagger a bit. He's going to have to cut off his opponent's offense quickly. When it comes to Brock Lesnar, he is a destroyer. And just the sight of him causes superstars to reconsider their career options. Lesnar is merciless and takes extreme pleasure in decimating an opponent, no matter who it is. Wow, that axe handle. That's a force behind it. Huge, bone-jarring German suplex. He's taking a lot of punishment. If it continues, it could eventually affect his vision. Yeah, already seeing stars. Brock Lesnar is merciless, Michael. And you're right, he loves nothing more than to rip his opponents apart. 
I mean, Lesnar can do it with pure power moves, crippling submission holds, or, of course, his unbelievable F5. Brock Lesnar is a destroyer like no other. Not going to win many matches with that move. Brock Lesnar is taking all-out control right now. Austin not in a good place right now. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. And it looks to me like neither of these guys are showing signs of pulling away here. It's a good point, John. And I'd say this match is about as even as it could get at this point. Oh, Brock Lesnar saw that one coming. And now he goes for it a second time. He gets out of trouble there. Oh, Brock Lesnar unable to be contained. Well, well, well. That's the first time tonight we've seen that move. I wouldn't mind seeing it a little more often. It's pretty obvious just from looking at him that Brock Lesnar is one of the most finely conditioned athletes in WWE, probably ever. Yeah, he looks like he's been cut from stone, Michael, doesn't he? I mean, six foot three, almost 300 pounds of pure muscle. And it's no illusion, Brock really does have power that's second to none. When he gets going like this, there are few better. King, we're about to take a little trip. Oh, no. Yes, I'm afraid you're right. Suplex City. Him. He's experienced a whole lot worse. There he goes, out of the ring. You know, on top of the raw power of Brock Lesnar that you mentioned, his technique, especially on the ground, is also fantastic. If he gets you on the mat and in a submission lock, forget about it. Look at this cocky display by Stone Cold. I like what I'm seeing here from Brock Lesnar. How could Brock Lesnar just dig deeper right now and find his way out of this one? You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. You know, being a wrestling god, I don't necessarily know what it feels like to execute your finisher twice and not be declared the winner. But I imagine it can't be pleasant. He's been incredibly aggressive all night, Cole. But sometimes you can be too aggressive. Let's see if that becomes the case here tonight. I don't think he's been too aggressive. Five, count the 20. Finisher! This could do it! Maybe. You can practically feel the wear and tear that's been done throughout this match. Now, why did he do that? A move like that's low. It's appalling, if you ask me. Totally disrespectful. Well, when he sees a belt, he likes to hit below it. And the story right now for Steve Austin is not turning out how he had envisioned it. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. From where I sit, they both appear to be competing with the same amount of energy. This one can really go either way. And I must say, this entire match has been right down the middle. I have no idea who's going to win this one. Steve Austin doing a great job of turning that around. Oh, my gosh! What a finishing move. This could be it right here. Man, this is brutal. He needs to reorganize. He can end it here. Right now. One, two, There's the kick out. Yeah, just barely. Wow, what a display of heart and determination. He's going for the pin. This could be it. I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that. I'm with you, Chang. I don't know if anybody could have. There's no keeping this guy down tonight. Oh, no. Massive damage done there. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. Somehow, he's kicking into another gear here tonight. Superstar. What a counter. He's focusing.
in on the face now. Looking to get on a roll here. Brock Lesnar is starting to hit the wall now. He might just have nothing left to give, guys. You know, given how many times he's gone to his finisher, you'd think he'd be in better shape right here. Oh, wow. Who would have thought this match would be as evenly contested as it is? Oh, and a terrific reversal by Steve Austin. Now momentum is in the corner of Steve Austin. He can do it here. I think he's got it. Two. No way. What a kick out. How did that happen? My <laughs> gosh, this guy has amazing resilience. I don't believe it. He refuses to lose. Wow, what a reversal by Lesnar. Yeah, I know they call it. And this has got to be it. It's it. It's up. And he kicks out. And he lives to fight again. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. And we're about to take a little trip. Oh, no. Yes. I'm afraid you're right. Suplex City. That's someplace nobody wants to go. Want to take a trip, John? Oh, check this out. It's not looking good right now for Steve Austin. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, what a counter. He saw that one coming. It could be over here. Yeah, maybe. Two. Three. And you can put this singles match in the books. Here's your winner, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Look near flawless down the stretch. Big win. On the bright side, tomorrow's a new day for Brock Lesnar. And what an incredible journey it has been to get to this WrestleMania moment. Absolutely amazing.